everyone. It's me, KP. I'm here in my studio, The Moon and the Maker, home of Rubber Moon Art Stamp. I'm here for day number, I don't remember, <laughs> for a stamp down to the new year. We did a stamp down to Christmas and we did a stamp a day, almost every day, um, all the way until Christmas. And now we're just finishing up the month with a stamp down to the new year. So just one more day after today and we will be bringing in 2020 with a little makiness all right so today i have a stamp image from kim geyser and this is one of the biggest stamps that we have and it's her her love birds or love doves i honestly don't remember the name um because if you know me you know i can't remember names but anyway it's a nice big um approximately i think a five by five ish uh, yeah that's about right because what i'm doing is i'm working on um, some scratch board, a little bit different. So what I've done, this is scratch board. Okay. It is, um, made by the same people who make clay board. It's uh, by ampersand all made in the USA. And I just thought this would be a really fun, uh, thing to experiment with. Um, I have to be honest, I have not tried scratch board with stamps. Shame on me. I did do one with a stencil. Um, not quite completed yet, but I think it's going to be a really great look. So let's go ahead and get started. Good morning, Cheryl and Dana. Happy New Year. Libby, nice to see you. So what I've done, I just took a piece of the scratch board and again, it's five by five. I have this little scratching tool, but of course, if you don't have a scratch tool, you can use a little X-Acto blade um, or, you know, anything else that's kind of sharp and scratchy. Um, I went ahead and I just stamped this uh, using a little bit of my Moonlight White. I have a Moonlight White uh, ink pad all loaded up with my Moonlight Duo White ink. Okay, so, and really you could use any color. If you just wanted to tint it a little bit, um, then you could stamp in a color if you wanted to. Um, again, I just wanted to put some lines on. And then you want to decide, do you want to scratch out the lines or do you want to scratch out around the lines? Um, that would take me a really long time and I don't think you want to stay here all day long. So I'm just going to go ahead and scratch out the lines um, and we'll just play and have a little bit of fun. Like I said, this one was done with the stencil and you can see you can actually get sort of, um, you know, deeper value um, if you cross hatch. I'm not too great at it, but you know, you can just see where you put denser lines, you're going to get a brighter white line. Okay. Hi, Juliet. Nice to see you. So I'm just going to go ahead and dig in and you can kind of decide, um, you know, what kind of scratch lines you want to put. Do you want to scratch it out completely? I'm just going to put little lines really close together on the solid. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see it show up since I did stamp in white. Maybe I should have stamped in black and that would, it would definitely make it show up a little better. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pull one out and I'm going to stamp it in black so we can kind of see the difference. Although you can see that white starting to come up really bright. I'm just going to stamp the same exact thing and do one in black and one in white, and then we'll kind of see the difference. Not that I'm going to do the entire thing, but I think it'll just be a fun experiment. <clears throat> My ink, this ink pad's kind of dry, so I'm hoping I can get a good enough. Let me, you know what, let me just get out my Black Moonlight Duo instead. Hopefully it's a little juicier. All right. Hi, Puff. All right, so I know you can't really see that very well, but you know that it's on there. I can, I know you can see the light gleaning on it just a little bit. So that's going to be kind of a little more fun to watch it 
um, I think come to life. So I will just again start and again just keep in mind however closely you put the lines together will make a difference on the density and how light or bright your lines turn out. And then the kind of cool thing that you should know is once you scrape your your white out, if you like it to be white, then that's awesome. But if you don't, you can color these lines. So that's kind of fun too. So isn't that fun just seeing it kind of pop out there like that? And that's, again, why I kind of wanted to um, do it in black so you could really see it. And then I just, I'm trying to be conscientious about my hand because I don't want to smear it around. So I am getting a little bit of black on there. If I wanted to be a little more careful, I could easily just take a piece of paper or a clean paper towel and sort of, you know, block, uh, sort of make myself a little guard. So and you, as you're going along, you want to decide like how, you know, do you want to be going over and over your lines? Are you really trying to scratch out solidly? Or again, do you just want small lines close together, small lines further apart, cross, cross, cross hatch lines, things like that. So just kind of keep that in mind as you're going along. You can also sort of just blow the little crumbs away or you can get yourself a little soft like makeup brush something like this and just And when you're doing circles and things like that, you just want to be sort of gentle because it has a tendency to want to kind of pull away as you're scratching. So just um, kind of keep that in mind and, and be gentle when you're doing curves or circles. And keep in mind too, as you're as you're going along, that you can definitely. So, like, if you see, um, well, here's the stamped image. Her the wing is really open, but if you wanted to go ahead and scratch in, you know, detail, um, and you know, create your own little detail work, then that's great too. Like I said, more cross hatching, whatever. The other cool thing you can do is just go ahead and get your outlines in place and then go back, you know, and work it after you get everything outlined. And just, it's not quite as easy as like drawing with a pencil because like I said, it has a tendency that that coating has a tendency to want to pull 
So it's not always as easy or as perfect as you may hope. So just, again, kind of keep that in mind. It will, it will pull against you just a little bit. All right. So I know it's a little slow going, so I'm sorry about that, but I think it's it's going to be worth it. I think it's going to be super, super fun. I can just listen to that scratching all day long. I just really, it's very relaxing. If anybody does um, ASMR, uh, then you know that some of these little background noises are super relaxing. I don't know, um, again, how many of you have listened to ASMR or watched it, but I really, there's a one called Cooking Tree that I just love. Oh my gosh, it makes me just want to, have a nap every single time. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to be kind of quick. I can sit here and take loads of time doing little tiny scratches, but I mostly just want you to get the idea and be able to see it. Like, I know you already get the idea now. We could really probably stop, but it's kind of fun to see it come to life, right? And, you know, it's not going to be as perfect as the stamped image, but that's kind of the point. I really like that you get sort of this rough cut look. And then, of course, if um, like in this background area, again, if you look, all this is darkened. So I could go in now and you could put little tiny dots if you wanted or just scratch it all out. But just remember, there's a lot of different ways to make texture and to make things look like they have more value, you know, more, more brightness, more value, whatever. So just keep that in mind as you're doing your little scratches. Isn't that really fun, the way it's kind of coming together? I love it. It's just, it's it's almost magical to just watch your lines sort of appear. All right, let's get these long birdie legs. I'm sorry for my sniffles. I think I might be getting a little cold. I don't know. This just happened and I realized I'm sniffling.
I'm sorry, my eyes are kind of going wonky right now too. I just uh, mentioned that I had a runny nose and now my eyes are watering. Ah, I hope I'm not getting sick. This is news to me. All right, those, so there's one bird down, right? And that's looking pretty good so far. I'm just looking to say hi to everyone and say good morning to Jan and Becky and Vivian and Deb and Alba. Thanks for joining me. And um, so if, in case you missed it, we are working on Scratchboard. So I just stamped this image. Um, this one I used a white ink pad. And as you can see, I started to scratch it out here. But then I decided it would be a little nicer for you to be able to see it sort of pop out and come to life. So on this one, I stamped it in black. And I know you can't probably quite see the outline. But trust me, it's there. I can see it. So um, yeah, Alba, it is scratch board. Okay, so it's a hard, premium hardboard panel. And it is coated with a scratch board surface. And when you scratch it away, um, it shows white. Okay, so I stamped um, this one using a white ink pad using my Moonlight Duo white ink. And then on this one, I used a Moonlight Duo black. Um, again, you can't really see the stamped image. Um, I think you can a little bit when I turn it. Um, but it's there enough for me to see. And so that's what I'm doing. And I'm just basically scratching out the lines um, that are stamped onto the surface. So I'm curious to know how many of you have tried this before. And if you have, did you like it? And did you color it or did you leave it black and white?
So I'm going to go ahead and and you know continue working on this and finish it. Um, I I know it might be a little um, repetitive or redundant just watching this over and over, but I think it'll be really neat to see it all finished. I wish that I could just speed it up and be done. Um, so I don't like keeping you here just to watch the same thing over and over. Um, but of course, if you have any questions, please let me know. And I am going to stay here and finish and see it through. Um, and I might even add a little color just to see, uh, you know, how I like the color on here. Yeah, so good. If I'm excited if it makes you want to try it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so Jan says so she tried it way back in 2000. Um, and then Libby, uh, yes, great. Well, I'm excited if I showed you something new. Um, and, you know, I, I just, a lot of times when I'm at the art supply store, I will just buy, you know, something like this, like one or two boards um, or, you know, something, a new material just, um, just to see if I like it. And um, so this is something I purchased again, just for to experiment um, because I do really love ampersands products. I love all their boards. I love um, clay board for sure and gesso board is great and i even just like their regular studio boards so um i thought that this might be something really fun to play with and especially with stamps and stencils which you know i love both of course um so um this definitely didn't disappoint me Just again, I'm going to repeat myself. Sometimes um, this little scratching tool and the surface is not the most cooperative. So it's not always super easy to just get a smooth line. But it's okay. Part of the charm really, I think, is that the scratchiness of it, right? All right, let's try to get this little guy finished up. Oh, I hope you can't. I'm so glad you can't see my face right now with my tongue hanging out. <laughs> so, Becky, this is a little scratch tool that does come with the set. Um, if you uh, purchase some scratch board, um, 
ampersand also has a little set of tools that you can use with the scratch board. And so this came with, came with it. I mean, it didn't come with the scratch board, but I did buy a little kit that includes some scratch board tools. All right, so now um, I do have a little bit of an issue, and that is that my stamp did not stamp perfectly clearly right here in this tail. So I am going to look at the stamped image to sort of at least give me a little bit of a guideline. Okay, so. I mean, I can see a tiny bit of it, but not, not all. So I'm just going to sort of make up my own, uh, or, you know, not make up my own, but I'm, I'm going to look at the actual stamp and then I'm going to sort of fill in. If it's not exact, then that's okay. Because like I said, making my own little marks and scratches is part of the fun. Got to get these bird legs here. And we're getting close to the, the finish line here, folks. Thank goodness. I'm pretty sure this is the last little leaf. And then again, just some little spots on this little birdie's belly. And I'm feeling like I might want to do a few little extras on the wings or, you know, things like that. And that's what I was saying is like after you get everything sort of scratched out, then you can go back and decide if you want to have extra little details and things like that.
And I also think I'd like to add a little line here at the top. I don't know. Probably a lot of times when I go to add one last thing, a lot of times I'm sorry, but that's okay. We're going to try it anyway. Yay, it wasn't a fail. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. All scratched out. I really like it. It's a nice texture, too, if you... Um, Ooh, yes. I'm so excited, Janice. I'll definitely look. Um, so everybody, um, did you post? Yeah. So if you go to uh, Let's Get Makey Facebook group, um, Jan posted her piece there. So yeah, so this is done. And now I can add um, like a little bit of color if I want to. I would maybe use my ink picks. I know there's lots of ways you can do it. You can even watercolor this. Um, but I'm going to try just using a little bit of maybe Moonlight Duo, maybe a little bit of Moon Glow, um, some Moon Glow Neons possibly, I don't know. Let me just try a little bit of this and see what that will do. Well, I need to do, um, you know what? I'm gonna scratch out a little bit more of the beak. So the top part of the beak would be lighter. And then see about rubbing a little color in there. I don't know if you're seeing that very well. I'm going to rub a little bit of this neon pink pad just so we can check it out. So obviously the lines will color up. I don't know if you can see that very well. I would take definitely still a baby wipe probably and wipe off some of the color but definitely you can paint on this um, watercolor uh, acrylic paint things like that I really I actually like the white lines and maybe I would just do a little painting around there I don't know I just at least wanted to try that um, to see you know about coloring them in Give these little birdie eyes some blue eyes here. Just rubbing it with a little bit of my moonlight or my moon glow neon ink pads. I don't know. It's not it's not really showing up too well on camera. It looks sort of, um, oh, I don't know, like it's a little bit wet. So I don't know. What do you think? If I didn't like that, I can easily, well, I mean, it would take a little while, but I can go back um, and re-scratch the lines. And I'm actually going to also experiment with it um, with a little bit of rubbing alcohol just to see if it'll remove it. Um, Let's try that. You know, a lot of times rub alcohol is a really works wonders, but I don't know if it'll remove this or not, or if it breaks down the scratch board. I don't know any of that because I haven't experimented enough, but no, it's, um, it's pulling it out a little bit, but it actually is removing also a little bit of the scratch board. So no alcohol on your scratch board. Cause you can see how it pulled out some of the color there. But um, anyway, so that is our stamp down to New Year's, and um, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of experimental play. I know I sure did. Um, this will not be the last time I'll be doing that, and definitely pull out some of your stencils, because that's a lot of fun, too. Anyway, thank you all so much, as always, for joining me. Um, I hope I'll see you tomorrow for our last day of the stamp down to the New Year, because then... Folks, it's going to be 2020, and I'm really, really excited about the new year um, and lots of great, fun stuff coming up. I hope if you're on Let's Get Makey Premium, I will see you today at 4 o'clock p.m. Central for our moon painting and our final Let's Get Makey Premium, um, you know, play date uh, for our Let's Get Makey Premium channel. 
super excited about that. Thank you so much. And I'll see you and talk to you soon. Mm -hmm. Love you to the moon and back.